Yo, what is wrong with Cardi B? You know Cardi B is trying to get a girl fired from her job because the girl was tweeting about her and how stupid she was to be back with Offset. Say what you want. This is really spinning out of control. And as much as I have sympathy for whatever Cardi B is going through with Offset and whatever she's going through personally, Cardi literally amped this up and taking this to another level. Why? Because you're trying to get a girl fired from her job for basically saying she don't like your music and saying you're spiraling out of control when you literally just threatened to have somebody murked and then called them fat and then called them this. Y'all, we need to get into this because y'all, this is some evil mess. And I don't care whether you are Cardi's fan or not. What the F is this mess? Honestly, this is crazy. So listen, Yesterday, Cardi B got into an argument uh, with this girl, okay? Um, Nikki Slip said, like, listen, here's the thing. I agree with what Nikki Slip said about what's going on with Cardi and Offset. Now, if you ask, why are you in Cardi's business? Because Cardi bought as the business. You wanted us to be involved when you publicly said that on social media. Now, and all of a sudden, you're circulating a memo that you don't want anybody in your business. And you literally are going after fans. If you guys don't know, a lot of her fans genuinely made this really, really cute gift of a book to raise her spirits. Cardi B is online talking about, and the book not coming out, and F your book. All because people are like, you deserve more than Austin. Now listen, it's Cardi's right to say what she ever she wants to say. My question is, does she not learn anything from Doja Cat? It is 2024. We are not in a recession. We are in a depression. Should you really be treating your fans like that? Especially with all this is because... People said it looked like you getting back with Offset. That's all they said. And they want better for you. And it looked like you getting back with Offset. And instead of you just being like, I ain't getting back with them, you doing scorch or policy screaming at people and then saying, watch what I do because I don't like when people try to tell me what to do. When nobody trying to tell you what to do. I don't like when people try to tell you what to do. It's like when my mom kicked me out, I slept in a thing. Watch, I'm an F with them just because y'all don't want him. Don't want me to. And I said, girl, think of another excuse on why you might potentially be getting back with them. Because how is that hurting us? How is that hurting everybody? Even, even the stand accounts. How is that hurting them? Honestly. If anything, this is just more content. If anything, Jay going to be getting more presence. If anything, how is this? And again, I don't mean to make light of what she's going through. Because it does seem like she is in, I don't know, there's some toxicity. But let's get into how she tried to get this girl fired because, baby, this is too much. Anyway, Nikki Slip said, like, he's probably going to clock his family for disrespecting you. Again, Offset's sister was up there dragging Cardi. Purses and shoes can't be that important. You can literally buy that ish yourself. Self-respect got to be worth more, especially when you have a daughter looking up to you. Come on, man. Now, listen, let me just be fair and play devil's advocate. Nikki Slips was violating. She was speaking on Cardi. But that said, she ain't put Cardi's name in it. She was responding to a comment about Cardi. But Cardi slipped up in her rant and let it be known that she goes to Twitter and Googles her name or any conversations with her name. Okay? Now, she said to this girl, I will dead A get your A murked. Stop effing playing with me. Stupid, miserable, fat B mentioned in my kid, the F ho. Okay, we're going to have to stop this because first of all, you are literally, we all know that right now there's all this stuff about the gang's affiliation, all this stuff. Why would you be putting that out there? But on top of that, why are you literally making a serious, viable threat to a woman that's voicing her opinion on a matter that you bought to social media. Anyway, she started arguing with this other girl, right? Listen, she started arguing with this other girl who at the end of the day, I went to her um, her Twitter account. And, and no, I'm not calling it X because no, but I went to her Twitter account and I looked around. 
Mind you, she seems to be a fan of Iggy Azalea. Yes. Nikki, listen, Pink Friday is really good. Um, and a few other people, Beyonce, all right? She does speak about Cardi, but very rarely. And when she did start speaking about Cardi, she was talking about Cardi's rant, talking about, tell me she's not losing it. Again, right? I didn't see anything that insightful. I didn't see her. Like, I, I didn't see anything. If anything, the stuff that Cardi was saying about her fans last night was more venomous and more poison, right? Cardi then went on to mobilize, right? Mobilize her fan group, her fandom against this girl, Banji Barbie. She said, threatening and wishing harm on your fans who are sticking up for you. This is a new low. Cardi went in on that girl, okay? But the girl played it right as she should have because didn't Cardi just sue Tasha K for saying things about her? And y'all can be like, oh, Tasha K was doing too much. And she was, and she was. But can we not forget the other side of what, Ta what Cardi was saying to people? She was literally mocking a woman that had lost her child, saying that's why you're sending that around. That's not that. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Anyway. She said, Cardi B is defaming me and causing people to attack me online. I've contacted my attorneys and I'm on the way to the emergency psychiatrist. This is the worst day of my life. A celebrity using their online platform to engage in cyberbullying of a private citizen. Please stop. Now, for y'all being, she shouldn't have said nothing. There actually are different rules for celebrities and with private citizens. There are completely, right, completely different rules okay and this is something that she could actually sue for she said i will be pursuing legal remedy this is absolutely egregious i have the recordings of her spaces and her screenshots cardi b fans have now contacted my employer have leaked my address and threatened harm. This negligence has jeopardized my mental and physical well-being in addition to causing irreparable damages to my income and reputation. There is a legal precedent of celebrities doing this. I will pursue this to the full extent of the law. Okay, right? Now, somebody said this literally, you, she was in her DM saying, I don't care about Cardi, it's a blue check mark, this and that. Yeah, y'all can pull that up. You must not know a celebrity harassing a private citizen. And the girl does have a case. Now, I'm not saying she's going to get millions. I'm not saying that's a Diddy case, but she has a case. Why did that girl, and then Cardi the next day posted, oh, it feels so good to go off for y'all. Y'all, y'all, listen. Offset literally had Cardi out there having a case because he was messing around with Jade. And now because of Offset antics and Cardi mad that people are talking about her being and you're bullying your fans, even though your fans aren't the ones. TMZ, Radar Online, Billboard, Rolling Stone, name any major news publication, people, TMZ, name any news publication or big blog they're the ones going out. They're the ones doing this. And you yelling at your fans? Anyway, Cardi was like, oh, I feel so much better. You got all this beef for your fans, right? That at the end of the day, don't fall into what Doja Cat did. Doja Cat cursed out her fans. It's like, I don't care. I'm going to let the music speak for itself. And it did. You should have had a number one album. But because you bullied all your stand accounts and said you didn't need it, they walked away from you. You're, the music did speak for itself. It was good music. Unfortunately, it ain't do the numbers it should have because you were busy being rude and disrespectful. Anyway, y'all, here's where it went too far. Banji Barbie posted, my heart just dropped. I actually cannot believe this effing happened to me. Did this B really just have her lawyers contact my job over tweets? I worked my butt off in this NBA program just for this BS. Mind you, I never posted where I accepted my job or school. Now, see, y'all always saying Cardi B should go after Tasha K for her four million. And tis her right. She won it. But now because people are tweeting about her and Offset, she's literally getting her lawyers to go after and investigate this girl, find out where her job and stuff is, and then make a complaint to her job. Right? This is after the girl said that Cardi B was defaming her. 
and she was going to take legal action. There's a compliance review hearing on January 8th, 2024. The morality clause outlined in our conditional employment agreement corresponds to with form and summons to compliance, blah, 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 blah. And she works for uh, BlackRock, played a pivotal role in preserving our professional image, core values, and trust we've established within the financial community. Cardi used all her money, her lawyers, her power, her everything to try to get this girl fired from her job because she posted a tweet that wasn't even that out of pocket about her getting back with Offset. What is going on with Cardi B? This was evil. This was wrong. And Cardi doesn't care because she's on her moral justice thing. But baby, what? why don't you got any smoke for Jade? Well, I guess you can't have smoke for Jade after you that settlement. You don't got no smoke for Offset. You don't got no, like, what in the world is going on? You getting a private civilian that didn't even say anything that big about trying to get her fired from her job. Now, hear me out, right? This girl could be making all this up, but she posted the receipts on it. So I'm going to act like this is true. He had sympathy for offset situation, had sympathy for what she's going through, had sympathy for that. But now you're taking all your anger, all your rage that should be directed at the person that had you losing your voice two weeks ago. And you're trying to get a person fired from their job for tweets that weren't even that serious. Y'all, I get it. <clears throat> you know, a lot of music artists tend to believe this bubble that the record industry makes for them. And I don't even know what to say about this. But what do y'all think? Because I find this evil. I find this ugly. I find this unnecessary. And I find it comical that the person that just threatened to murk in her goons and we all know she got goons because she really ran up on Jade they apparently ran up on Tasha K sent her goons to murk someone literally just because someone said he playing you sis and you got the nerve to be trying to get people fired y'all listen what y'all think what y'all think I don't know I'm off of this one like I don't like this I don't like this at all at all. This was evil. This was unnecessary. This was a level of petty and vindictive. And when you think of what started it, y'all, I understand that Cardi might have been a victim when it came to the Tasha K scenario. But at what point, right? And she was like a victim and Tasha was the monster. But at what point do you become the monster? And now you're doing the same thing, but worse than what you accuse Tasha of doing to you. Listen, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.